Today we are talking about Mr. Hellfield Ensley. He was an artist by profession, a cattle painter by force of environment. It is not to be supposed that he lived on a ranch or a dairy farm. At noon day in summertime the ghost stood keen deep in tall mitten grass under the shade of a group of walnut trees with the sunlight falling in dapper patches on their most sleek coast. Suddenly Adela silent the outer door of his studio with loud peremptory no kids. There is no ox on my garden. What kind of ox? Oh, I don't know what kind. Besides, there are the chrysanthemums just coming into flower. Suddenly Adela assailed the outer door of his studio with loud peremptory no cans. I paint the iron cuffs, certainly, but I cannot claim to have had any experience in rounding up this try oxygen. Oh, All I could think of was that you were a near neighborhood, and a cattle painter presumably more or less familiar with their subject that you painted and that you meet the awesome slight assistance. Possibly, I was mistaken. Adela said nothing, but led the way to her garden. It's eating a chrysanthemum. How observant you are, you seem to notice everything. He stood very near the gate while he studies the animals, appearance and the manure. Adele continued the say nothing. The necessary for doing something was becoming imperative. Esley took a step or two in the direction of the animal, gapped his hand and made noise of the hish and shoo variety of the odds here then it gave no outward indication of the fact. You shoo beautiful. Meanwhile do you mind trying to drive that ox away? The easy clump broken down. Adela used language that sent the artist in Tins the Valley, a few feet near it to the ox. He picked up a big stick and flew it with some determination against the, the animal's model flanks. Suddenly, the way it crossed the tin tree of true that the caribou called the crooked law and push it the way through the open French window into the morning room. I asked you to drive that nest out of my garden, but I did not ask you to drive it into my house. Cattle drives are not in my line. Painting pretty pictures of pretty little cows is what you are sweet for. Perhaps you'd like to do a nice sketch of that ox making itself at home in my morning, morning room. What are you doing? To fetch implements. Do you mean to say that you are going to sit quietly down and paint that birthday while it's destroying my morning room? The man is mad. 
I shall go to the public library and get them to the telephone to the police. A moment later, it was Adela herself who appeared to go mad. The ox had finished the base flowers and the cover of Israel Kalish and appeared to the thing of leaving its rather restricted quarters. The episode was the turning point in Elsie's artist career. His remarkable visual ox in a morning room late at home was one of the sensation and success of the next Paris Salon and when it was subsequently exhibited at Munich, it was bought by the Bavarian government in the death of the spirit bidding of three Mets Strass films. From that moment, his success was continuous and assured and the Royal Academy was thankful.